Got a kid. That's, we have a child, and that's a worthless venture. <laughs> I mean, he's cool, whatever, but just, I don't know, I don't, whatever. I mean, he's fine and everything, like, I mean, he's cool, but it's just, it's odd being a parent because there's a lot of expectation that comes with it. Like, like I, I hate the, we only have one and everybody thinks that's a weird fucking thing. They're like, we're done, done, done having kids, right? One kid. And people are like, why would you do that? You're only having one kid, Ben, it's America. It's 2.5. You know that, there's plenty of stuff. Why don't you want to have more kids? You got the little boy. Don't you want a little girl complete the set? No, they're not fucking steak knives. No, I don't want to complete the set. That's fucking ridiculous. You know that thing's going to eat 40,000 pounds of food in its lifetime? That's a giant caterpillar. I do not want more of these things running around, right? Well, why, why don't you want any more kids? Well, I got a couple reasons. Number one reason. I got it right the first fucking time I did it. And I can say that honestly and without question. My kid is rad, he's, he's smart, he's sensitive, he's funny, he's just a cool guy, right? I got it right. I do not want to run the risk of having shitty sequel kid. And if you aren't laughing at that right now, you are shitty sequel kid. And you know who you are in your family. I don't want you is what I'm getting at. <laughs> Number two reason I don't want any more kids. Big one right here. I got seven billion reasons to not want another fucking kid. There are too many people. Stop having so many fucking kids. We're drowning in people. Stop. That's the problem. I saw on a show the other day that said for every single person on this planet, for everybody here and outside everywhere, there are 100,000 insects. And that for every single insect, there are three Asian people. That's a whole lot of Asians. Why are you a good person in this country if you have a lot of kids, right? Why do we love you? We're like, oh, you're pious. You must be a good person. You got a big family. Why do I, right? Why do we give you television shows like fucking Just the 19 of Us and Kate Plus Eight? We get to watch old Mrs. Duggar use her vagina like a vending machine. <laughs> Why are you a good person if you have a lot of kids? It's weird, right? Everybody like, remember when John first cheated on Kate? And in the tabloids and everything, they were like, why did he cheat on her? They had everything. They seemed like such a cute couple. They seemed like good people. <laughs> they seemed like good people. They put their eight kids on television to make money, your shitty fucking people. That's what you are. All you've done is you robbed eight kids of a normal upbringing. And everybody was in the television wars like, what side are you on, guys? John's or Kate's? Whose side are you on? I'm on whatever side the sniper takes out. That's the side I'm on. Looks like the little red dots on John's forehead. I like him right now. Why did John cheat on Kate? Why did he cheat on Kate? I'll tell you why he did. Because Kate shit out eight kids in two sittings. <laughs> He's gonna cheat on her, right? Any guy is gonna go out and find vagina that doesn't look like a piece of pottery that just fell off the wheel. He's doing his homework. Well, here's my plan. We got a problem in government, right? Here's my plan. When I run for office and I erase all that bullshit I talked about earlier. Here's how it goes, you ready? One kid, tax break. We're sorry, accidents happen. Here's some money, we apologize. Two kids. No more fucking tax break. Look, it looks like you're doing this shit on purpose. Fucking stop it, all right? Three, four, five kids? 
now we're taxing the shit out of you, right? Yeah. You can't go anywhere because I got all your fucking money. Yeah. Six plus kids? Now I'm gonna send over an adjuster. <laughs> Just some guy to take a look at the situation. Each one's different, right? Walks in, opens the door, boom! All right, Brenda, neighbors are complaining. How many of these little shits you got running around here, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One under the couch. Eight kids, Brenda. By yourself, eight kids. All right, guys, well, let's take the doors off the house. <laughs> Come on, guys, we're gonna take the doors. Well, Brenda, you wanna act like a redneck? We're gonna treat you like a redneck. Now take the fucking doors off the house. And I swear to God, Brenda, we're gonna come back in six or eight months, and if an animal or disease hasn't whittled your family to manageable, we're gonna keep the doors off the house. And I swear to God, Brenda, if you try to put the doors back on this house, we're gonna take a finger off of each one of these kids. And you think it's hard for your kids to make friends now when you've dressed them like Orville Redenbacher and Laura Ingalls with their creepy religious thousand yard stare, right? Now imagine old quad hands trying to come up and high four everybody on the playground. It's unnecessary. <laughs> 